Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing uh, the GearBest V666 quadcopter. Now, I've never actually flown a quadcopter before, so I brought my good friend James here, who's a seasoned RC pilot. So we're going to try putting it through its paces and um, give this review a bit of a hacksmith uh, flair. Fireworks? Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so the quadcopter itself is by WL Toys and it's called the V666 model. And it costs $137.99 US from GearBest.com, which you think is a pretty good price for something like this. I mean, it's got the FPV module, you can literally fly from the quadcopter's point of view, and it's pretty durable too. I've crashed it into many things and it hasn't broken yet. One nice feature I like about this quadcopter is the camera built right into the FPV module itself um, and how this is attached to the quadcopter is with vibration dampeners so that allows for uh, stable video without vibration in the frames itself. Very durable, um, very durable pro propellers. I don't know what I'm talking We've about. We've scratched them up pretty good already but they still work. And it does come with an extra set, and you can buy all the replacement parts also at GearBest.com. So let's take a look at the controller. This is a four-channel ca controller. Um, this is a Mode 3 version right now. Um, it's got a little LCD screen down here where you can see the battery, the signal, as well as your um, trim levels. So you have all trims on each channel. Um, we have a throttle position adjustment, so you can have a uh, basically a hover mode where you can adjust it so that you know, this will be the home position for the throttle. Um, here we have our FPV controls. The camera recording function allows you to stop and start the video, and the photo button allows you to take a still photo in flight. Uh, the light button right here turns the LEDs on the bottom of the quadcopter on and off. So we're just going to power down, power up, uh, cycle through the throttle to connect to the quadcopter, and now we're going to press the photo button, takes a still image. You can see on the screen it flashed and that's how you know it took a picture. Press the camera button and you can see it started recording. Press it again, it stops. Perfect. Um, if you power down and hold the model button while you power up, it allows you to cycle between mode 3 and mode 1. Uh, this would be similar for mode 2 and 4 controllers as well. Alright, let's take her for a flight. Excellent. Alright, um, so I haven't flown much. Uh, let's see what I can do. All right, so we gotta adjust the trim a bit. <laughs> All right, so uh, we probably should have adjusted the trim first before trying to fly it up to the ceiling. So uh, we're gonna do that now this time. We're all trimmed out now. It's working pretty good now. Close proximity flip. Let's take a look at this FPV. <laughs> I choke it everywhere. What? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a bit cramped in the garage. Uh, we should probably try using this outside first, so let's give it a shot. Uh, 
store. <laughs> oh, it's windy. <laughs> Got a nice view of the barn from up there. I'm having a hard time getting back here. <laughs> oh, there's a neighbor's street. Oh, we are over the road. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. It looks like you're coming the right direction now. Great. Throttle down a bit, and then it might get out of the wind a bit. Oh, reception's pretty good in this. Video's getting a bit grainy. And you hang to the left a bit. Or, uh, it's w yeah, yeah. throttle that way. There we go. And I think we might have... Fuck. No. no, I still got video contact, but it is windy and we are... Shit. <laughs> Do you want me to run out? Yeah, let's go this after way. It? You should put it down. Just turn the throttle off. Uh, but it's better to land now before it gets too far away. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we just caught. Shit, ready? Yep. Okay. Huh? Getting some signal. Ah. Trees, tree. <laughs> okay. We have to get in this park, I think. The cat, tree. Okay. Here we go. Can you film? Okay, it's it's near. Huh? Cool. It's, it's over there. It's over there. It without turning it on. I think it's up here. Oh, in the tree? Oh, isn't it? Ah, it's in the tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm going to zoom in on it. All right. Looks like we're going to have to do some tree climbing. Oh. Get a nice view of the leaves. I think she's pretty tangled. All right, you want me to go up for it? Or do you want to? I'll give her a try first. Okay. <laughs> the hacksmith is headed up the tree in search of the drone. Look at those climbing skills. You trained for this day. Sorry? You trained for this day. <laughs> All right, so how funny is it that it landed in a public park in a tree and we were able to find it again? So it gets uh, pretty good points for findability. I think we're very fortunate that it landed here and not in someone's backyard. Yeah. Problem is it's way up there and the rotors got stuck in uh, the branches. So I tried to wiggle it out, nothing really happened. We're gonna go back to the garage and maybe get something to throw at it or maybe like a grappling hook. So uh, we'll be back. <laughs> 
So it drifted about a kilometer away from where we took off. And uh, what's the reception? Maybe like three, four hundred meters? Ish. Don't have any signal right now as we're walking back to the house. And we're about halfway back already. <laughs> Lots of trees blocking the signal. And we're still walking back. All right, I know that grappling hook gun is around here somewhere. <coughs> but where? Let's see, we got some paintball stuff. Aha! Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I knew this would come in handy at some point. So this was originally designed for a uh, arrow or a, a crossbow. So it doesn't throw as nicely but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to catch on a branch. Hmm. All right, um, so to be able to throw it properly, we have to mount it a little bit differently. Those sailing classes are coming in handy. Tying the perfect knot. Let's see about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at that friction. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, let's try this again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's awesome. go save a quadcopter. <laughs> I believe this adventure calls for a GoPro. GoPro battery fully charged. Let's do this. Alright, so we crash landed in Duke Street Playground. Now, normally two grown men walking into a playground with video cameras is rather suspicious. But luckily no one's here. <laughs> that might work. Mm. I just gotta untangle a little bit, because that was all the rope. Traveling hook works pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I mean, I missed, <laughs> but. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just hope this doesn't come back and skewer me. <laughs> that was a great shot. Come on. Oh yeah, look at that. Do you want me to catch it or film? Uh, both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Victory. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think we made an awesome video. Success. Signal, signal. Backwards. Alright. The ultimate test. Does it still work? Uh, what a durable little copter. <laughs> As you can see, they're pretty easy to steal if they're low flying. Ready?
All right, let's head back to the garage. Okay. Um, do some more review -y stuff with it. <laughs> I got this on video too. Nice. <laughs> that grappling hook came in really useful. <laughs> All right, let's uh, test some other features of this quadcopter before we uh, lose it again. All right, so we're gonna try doing a payload test using a water bottle. That way we can easily uh, change the weight. And since water, the density of water is one gram a cubic centimeter, which is also a milliliter. Super easy to uh, calculate the weight. Now, should we take the camera module off since it weighs a bit? Possibly. We get that much more weight in the payload. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so the water bottle is pretty much completely full, so there's no way it's going to pick it up, but might as well give it a shot. Ready? Go for it. Full throttle. It's not doing too bad. Oh! <laughs> wow, do that again? That's impressive. Alright, so that was about three quarters full, which means it'd be about um, just under uh, 400 grams. So let's do halfway full. Alright, so that's about um, 250 milliliters, so that'd be about 250 grams. If it can pick this up, that'd be pretty impressive. Come on! Wow! <laughs> wow! More than you thought? More than I thought? Yeah, that's pretty impressive. 250 grams. That's over half a pound. if we can actually get it to fly properly and then uh, when, the, when the other battery is fully charged we're going to try this again and see what the max is with uh, fresh batteries. So that should be about like, I don't know, 180, 200 grams. Still pretty uh, respectable. Go for it. Well, it's probably the momentum you get from swinging it. Should I do a flip? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay. Sway back and forth. See if you can get a pendulum effect going. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, drone. Graceful. Alright, so uh, we might as well give the drone something to shoot up. And uh, here's my old archery target. Not too sure if it's flammable, but we'll soon find out. Alright, so we're using these uh, mini Roman candles. Uh, do not hold in hand, 
Use only under supervision of an adult. Check. Outdoor use only. Um, yeah, but check. It has a song with it. Uh, bury tube halfway in sand or soil and point away from people or flammable materials. We're pretty close. Right is front? Yes. This thing doesn't burn up, it just keeps shooting, isn't it? Should probably put something underneath it just in case. I think you I think you're right. I don't only the very tip will burn a bit. Uh, do you want to take that risk? I'm the hacksmith. <laughs> 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 I wonder what force do we give away, like, you know, like a, like a model jet engine would take that out. Awesome. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid. Yeah. No, 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 it looks solid. I'm just like, how much force is it a rolling cannon? That's the question. <coughs> how charged is this battery again? I don't know. What do you mean you know? How would you guesstimate? What would be your professional opinion? 70%, maybe. <laughs> Actually? I, I have no idea. Well, how long is it supposed to charge for? It's, uh, let's how, reverse. How much do you think it's charged for? Then? How long has it been? These are so small. Like, but that's the thing. But the mass but of the ball was chemistry. No, physics, right? M times V is momentum, right? The mass of the ball is like nothing, and the speed is like What if they make small. some gunpowder? Okay. Valid question. What if what? What if like like the force of gunpowder? Oh, we're gonna find out empirically. Uh, this may not be enough. What? It's fine. How so James, you're gonna light it. I'm gonna it's float it in front. Hot. You light it, then run away. Keep filming. Whatever you guys do, keep filming. <laughs> okay. Uh, when the fire department comes, do we keep filming? Yes. yes. Especially you, that. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to the fire department, and you guys just. Hide. Should we record like the back end of this? Yeah, keep recording. I should be recording everything right now. Oh, okay. Everything's behind the scenes, man. All right, so got our fire extinguisher. We're going to aim this way towards the highly flammable propane cylinder on the forklift, but we're going to aim for the target. Now, this is this isn't even like a Roman candle. It's a baby Roman candle. It's really not that dangerous. It'll still burn you. But I think it'll be a great test of this drone. So let's give it a shot. So James, you got a lighter? I do. All right. Hopefully the propellers don't blow the flame out. Hopefully the propeller doesn't blow out. Hang on, I should adjust the trim. That'll do. All right. Good? All right. Let's do it. Light her up. Oh, oh no, it's more top heavy. <laughs> oh no, the camera feed stopped. <laughs> Did I hit what? Did you hit that? I don't think so. I think it's crazy. <laughs> Did you get on film? I think so. <laughs> Sweet. No, I definitely did. It looks okay. The feed shot though? I think so. Hang on. Camera button's not doing anything. No. Oh, no, it was working. It was just... What? It just reset. The impact might have stopped the recording. Hello. Yeah, it's working again. So it has two bottles. I don't know, I'm sick. This 
Um, cord right here is pretty loose. Oh, yeah, that's, that's probably because we're wrapping it around. Yeah. But it should still have the cord on. No, we don't even have a patch. Ah, uh, okay. Do a flip. Uh, why didn't we do barrel rolls while shooting? <laughs> Next time. Next, Next time. time. So we have managed to break it. Oh, hang on, it's just, oh, this whole thing. So it looks like the we're top, going to. Did the tub get damaged? Hang on. Yeah. So it looks like we'll the set screw uh, slipped. So basically this gear needs to be pulled up like that, but this set screw uh, slipped a little bit. So let's grab a screwdriver and fix this. So we can just pop the propeller back on and tighten the set screw. Tightens the set screw up and it's good to go. I think you may have to do that toss again. It wasn't on All right, floor. so um, to recap, this drone's pretty awesome. We almost lost it. We've shot fireworks off of it. We broke one of the propellers, fixed it with a screwdriver, no problem. And um, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Like, it's pretty damn durable. Uh, we were able to find it after it flew like a kilometer away in the wind and we were just running around with the, uh, the remote waiting until we saw a video f see, uh, feed. Um, yeah, you got any comments James? No, it's very durable, it's stable and uh, fun to fly. Would you pay $140 for this? Definitely. Me too. Well, the verdict's in.